continue. Uh, we go to Douglas in the email box. Douglas, what do you think is the most overrated sitcom that ran for more than two seasons? Yeah, and he he gives us a couple suggestions big here. Bang, big Bang, Big Bang, Big Bang. That would be one of my answers. Uh, I figured it would be taken by someone, so I have a different answer. Friends. He, he suggests 30 Rock, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which is the longest running sitcom ever. By the way. Ooh. Seinfeld or other. Not overrated. Those are all great sitcoms. Actually, I, you actually you could probably make the case to me that Seinfeld is overrated, but it's uh, it's really, really good. So okay. I, don't, I don't want anybody to get me wrong on that. Friends, I would definitely throw up there. Mm. Hot take. Uh, Almost as hot as saying Pink Floyd sucks. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Put me on the board for that one. Uh, what, who were the other ones that you mentioned in there? Because I had a thought on one of them. Uh, 30 Rock, Always Sunny. Oh, 30 Rock Sunny. was good. Yeah, Always Sunny. I couldn't get my wife to watch with me, so we just haven't. Because I, 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 I tried to ease her in because we watched all of Welcome to Wrexham. You cannot ease anyone into... Yeah. And I thought it's always sunny in Philadelphia. I if you, I remember the first episode correctly, I said, you'll, you'll like the You, you like Rob McElhinney. You know, you think he's a pretty cool guy. You've seen this welcome to Wrexham show. Now let's watch always sunny. And we started and she didn't like it <laughs> within like the first four episodes. I'm like, all right, maybe it'll get better. She didn't stick. A, it stick does. Around. It does sort of even out after the first like six episodes. They were really trying like, okay, this is what we are. We're the shock show. Um, they were at the Emmys on Sunday, all four of them. They presented an award together and yeah. they said, Hey, you know, they introduced us as the longest running sitcom of all time. That's pretty cool guys. And they're like, yeah, we've never been here before. We've never been invited. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, uh, asked Danny, they're like, Danny, have you been here before? Have you been nominated for an Emmy? He's like, yeah, I've, I've got four of them. And they're like, for it's always sunny. And he goes, no, for tax. <laughs> I I don't think that I would. That's funny. I don't think that I would call that show overrated. I don't. I don't think that you can. And then uh, Rob said, uh, "I was just here a couple weeks ago. Welcome to Wrexham won five Emmys." <laughs> you know, Charlie Day's like, oh, what, what's going on?" Uh, those, yeah, that's exactly how he sounds. Too. Uh, my answer would be Two and a Half Men." By the way, oh, I never gave that. The show was on for like twenty-seven years. Every episode was the same. Uh, quick verdict on King of Queens. I enjoyed that show. Me too. How about Everybody Loves Raymond? I never enjoyed that show. It was always on after King of Queens, and I said, get this off my television. I am the one who does not love Raymond. You got the brother, and he's like, Ugh. I'm a big, tall idiot. <laughs> Yeah, that one's that one's up there for me as far as the overrated. Eh, why you gotta be such a nag, honey? I just never knew who watched any of these, and now we have all these shows on television. I'm like, who's watching these shows? I've never talked to anybody who's watched any of these shows. I don't know a single, and we've said this before, and I'll say it again. We don't know a single human being alive that has watched a single second of Young Sheldon. <laughs> no, no one has watched that. Popped up on my TikTok a couple times. That's all. <laughs> have you? Have you ever talked to anybody who's like, yeah, everybody loves Raymond is my favorite show of all time. I have, I have encountered some, uh, Raymond stands. Interesting. Interesting. What's their age? Oh, old. Yeah. Okay. Got it. 